Okay, we are ready to move on again. I did level up Spell Ray again, and no, I don't have a better thing to put into the distance slot with a double triangle, which upsets me. Is there anything down here? There's kind of like a whole nother path. Oh, that's actually the way forward. So I want to go this way. Uh, this is a fight I probably shouldn't, shouldn't handle right now. It's just a whole bunch of kobolds, but I'm going to try for it. That battle surprisingly not nearly as bad as the one with the bugbear. So let's head over here and we can get PM card E, which I do believe is another card for the card game. Let's go ahead and check though, because I am paranoid about getting one of these wrong one of these days. PM card E, it was here, right? Uh, promotional card for the card game, yeah. So we'll go over those at the end. These cards, I will tell you, though, are better than almost every card that you can get in the booster packs or anything like that. So it is worthwhile putting off the, the card game for a while. Now, if I remember right, I want to actually talk to this person over here before I head down the manhole cover. How long is he going to make me wait? We said 4 o'clock in front of the park. Oh well, we haven't been on a date in a while, so I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Looking forward. I am looking forward. And it is a trick. We're up against a larva doll here. Now, larva dolls are a little weird. They are undead. So I'm going to throw some of my massive amounts of medkit S's at it. And as you can see, it does a lot of damage. There we go, 150 damage. Okay? Pretty basic undead enemy, but it's the first one that we have seen in this game. Anything else though, I will say, is absorbed. Anything else. Basic attacks, magic, techs, ethers, anything that does not heal is absorbed. So, just, just a look out there. Do I actually want to go on this one? Uh, yeah, I want to actually go down this one. What is down the first one, now that I think about it? What is down here? No, I don't want to go down there, now that I think about it. No, we're going to go down the second manhole cover. This is the way that I want to go. Yes, we'll go down this one. You don't actually get to crawl down, though. You just show up there. Now, I think that this one's just a bonus one, but this is not actually the way forward, which is why I want to go this way first. So, press the button here. That opens up the path there. So we have to go around, and we have to fight this guy. This guy should be new. He is new! It is the troll! I have much experience with these guys. I know what I'm doing. We're just gonna use the most powerful things that I have. I have, of course, been leveling up Spell Ray and Lunar Seal like you would not believe. We might actually finish him off here. That's how powerful Lunar Seal is. I think it's up to level 6, 7? Yeah, finish him off. Oh, he, he has like 20 left or something like that. All right, uh, yeah, I'm going to risk guarding here. Yeah, so I can get my turn. And down he goes. Points time, or oh, two. But it was a troll, man. They don't have souls. And that's not that great. Nothing that great. Out of that, but we get another medkit S because I never use them because I can heal. I make creative use of my ether points instead of all the other stuff. And if we get here, we can get segment address number five, which we already have the key for. So let's go ahead and go inside. And in here, we can get the double buster. Very, very nice piece of equipment. What this is, is, it is an accessory. There we go. Should be down here at the bottom. Double buster, there we go. You can use two tech attacks in one turn. 
should you have full AP. So as you can see there, you can use triangle, circle, circle, or uh, square, circle, circle. And then you can use uh, the high slot twice. Very, very nice piece of equipment. I probably will be using this actually. You pair that with the commander's crest, and you got yourself quite a build. And I'm actually going to do that on Chaos. Better than the space helmet and the purple ring. Chaos is awesome for this because of Lunar Seal, really. You can say that you're going to use this on Angel Wings, but we would know that you're lying. You're going to use this for Lunar Seal because I have been leveling it up. How high is it now, Lunar Seal? It is uh, level 6. <laughs> oh, God, it keeps on going, too. Uh, Shion is up to uh, level 7 on uh, Spell Ray. And we'll get that even higher. There is a maximum, so, you know, it's not like I'm going to be doing that forever. But I always feel like I should max out the first skill before I move on to the second one in this game. Uh, with the exception of uh, all enemy attacks. Those are the ones that I make the exception for. Got it to kill the troll again. Now this troll right here is actually a great spot to level. If you really wanted to, you know, you go back in. You come back out, fight him over and over again. He's a very easy guy that gives out a decent amount of experience. So it is somewhat worthwhile to do it. I'm going to avoid that, though. We can open up our way over here. And this is also open by pressing the button. And now we can grab ourselves a guard cleaner, which I think is an eggs thing. If I remember correctly, guard cleaner, there it is. Yeah, when you guard, you clear status abnormalities. Pretty much any status effects that you got will go away if you guard. If I remember correctly, Xenogears had a very similar thing, but I never used it. So, what we are going to do is move on. We are going to head back and go through the first manhole cover, which if you remember, this was the fastest way to get there. Oh, yeah, that's why I was demanding. I'm like, which, which one's the first one? Which one's the second one? The second one is the way that you want to go first because it is the dead end with the treasure. What, what, what are you doing? Go left? Okay. I, I was holding up, and apparently up only goes halfway up the ladder. I have to hold left. I don't want to go the rest of the way because that totally makes sense. Uh, the woman is not back, uh, whatever her name was. The larva doll, really. All right ready to move on into the sewer. And down here we can find, well, repeat enemies. They might be upgraded, but we have seen them before. Oh, this guy's new. Let's take a look at this guy. I've come this far. I can't lose now. Uh, Skyfish and a gremlin. I think the gremlin I think these are both new, surprisingly. Uh, this guy needs to die, though. Uh, Lunar Seal. Hopefully we'll kill him because he's got a counter boost. If not... Eh, it doesn't matter. No, it did kill him! Nice. Very nice. And then, of course, these guys are flying, so you can only use uh, distance attacks, which is fine because that's what I've been leveling up. That's one of the reasons that I level those up more than everything else, than the, the, the close attacks, is because some enemies you can't even do the close attacks for, including bosses. Power beam! Not that powerful, pretty powerful, but considering how much you charged it up, it wasn't that great. Wow, kobolds do more than that, man. How's your problem? And this guy gets to die. He gets a double lunar seal. Oh, Lunar Seal and then Angel Blow? I thought I did a double Lunar, Lunar Seal. seal. Alright, Angel Blow as well. I don't think we have seen Angel Blow. Ready? Angel Blow. I need to level up Angel Blow as well. That does attack all enemies. It should... It should have killed one, guys. I got a double boost off of that, which is also awesome. So even more reason to do this. Okay, so you only have 99 HP. 
you're dead. And you're probably dead with the spell right here. There we go. Commander's Crest and the... What's, what's the other one that I just equipped? Commander's Crest and... God, what was the name of that? I just grabbed it too. I am so okay, lost. Let's what go. the hell? Uh, double Buster, there we go. I had to look it up in my mess because I forgot. I am not in the best of mindsets today, apparently. It has been a long day. But that is neither here nor there. We need to press this button. Yes, press the button. And we have changed the color of the door. Everything is safe now. For I have changed the color of the door. Is there anything I can do with this guy down here? Or do I just have to run around and hope that I find a path? Uh, this will all lead around in a circle eventually, but we can also get five ether pack S's by heading this way. I don't think there's anything this way. At least now. I can't do anything with the wall. It does look like there's a part in the middle, but then can't seem to do anything with it. I'm not sure if I can actually fight the guys down there. And unfortunately, this does actually lead nowhere. So let's head back around. Like I said, I'm not sure if I can actually fight the guys in the water. They look like they're the weaker enemies, though, that we were finding earlier. Uh, once again, there's the circle. So let's move on, take on more Skyfish. Let's just continue on. God, I love the Double Buster Commander's Crest combo. And it is time to fight another Larva Doll, it looks like. Oh, it can move now. All right, let's move on and see if we can get into, well, obviously we get into the sewers, hooray, but we don't actually fight the things that were crawling around. I think we do have to kill them in order to get to that treasure chest though that we opened up by turning the door blue. Back in charge of Junior and his party. Now we can head over here. Do you need to be healed? Probably, but it looks like we have a new enemy to take out. A big mech guy. Well, guess I'm gonna get some exercise after all. A Gertzog oot. Sure. Whatever. Uh, this guy looks like you need to die first. Go for Floral Tempest. Can I go? And this should work out well for him. It looks actually if I remember right, we actually picked up that treasure chest with this part instead. Here. Okay, prelude to battle again. Surely, apparently, the battle is finished to get out here. Down he goes. I hate your hand. I just hate it. it. Does so much damage. I probably won't be able to take out the mech. Probably not. I'm gonna go with nope. So, we're gonna take out this guy. Who I know I can take out because I need the point. Well, I don't need him, but I want him. I do like my point. Points! Times two. Well, it, at least it's points. Ah, doesn't do so much damage when I defend, does it? Floral Tempest! Here I go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill very many people with Momo. As much as I would like to. Holy crap! Did you see how much damage that did? That was ridiculous. Uh, what are the chances? What are the chances? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mm, damn you. Ah, uh, 16. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna guard again, and I'm just going to hope and pray at this time. Damn it! If, if we're just gonna do this little song and dance over and over, you just need to die. But it gives us a chance to see Cyclone! He actually said it for once, but down goes Gert. You didn't stand a chance. So, so it was Gert something. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance, of course not. Level up for Momo. Don't get anything special out of that. A few medkit S's. Uh, that might put me back up to full. Uh, we need to head over to the left here. Because there is a cafe over there that we do need to go into. I almost passed it, so that would not have been a good thing. Here we can blow this up and we can get a rejuvenator. 
out of that. Now, that's something. I thought it was actually going to be a little bit more important than that, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself again. So let's head further down and fight more Gert. Let's continue on. Uh, I think we can just head south from here. There is another enemy. No. Let's just continue on and head to the west into the subway. It looks like the Milsha Park Station is where we are. I don't know where that is in terms of the conflict, but we don't really know much about the conflict now, do we? No, very, very little, actually. I wish they would tell us more. Junior, you're holding out on us, obviously. But he's probably going to be doing that for a while. Can I climb this? No. Kind of looks like I could. But there is a save point here, which I will use. All saved. Now, I do believe that there is something that I am looking for in here. I believe that room up top is my destination. So let's head up and around. And that opens up the way to this door right here, which doesn't seem to be much, but I can head over to the left through a secret passage and possibly, what the hell? God, I hate your secret passages game. Why? Why? Uh, can I blow something up in here? You're not letting me do much of anything at all. Which way is it? There it is. Here we find segment address number 15. It's against the far wall, about halfway. Apparently I passed it like three times. Uh, there we go. Inside we go, because we already had it. I said inside. Thank you. Apparently I had to press the button again. How dare you. And in here we get an angel ring. Which, is, of course, is a ring, which means accessory. Let's take a look at what it does. Angel wing. Angel ring. EP consumption by half. So you want to put this on a healer. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, by the way, I did also level up a new ether for Xion. Uh, we'll get a chance to look at that when we get back with her. Spoiler alert. We're going to be back with her eventually. Uh, it's medical rest. Medica rest. Upgraded Medica. It only helps one person, but it helps more than Medica all does. So we finally have a high level healing spell. So I'll probably give her Angel Ring somewhere along the line. Now I believe I want to actually go through these stairs here first. Even though they're kind of scary. They're long and they seem to lead to a scary spot, but there's just more girt down here. Now, if we head up here, you can destroy each and every one of these set of benches. I'm actually going to blow up one of them to show you what's inside, but I won't blow up the rest. Oh, apparently that one had nothing. This one actually has something. This one has a veil. I must be thinking of different ones. Some of the benches... Well, they don't have something that's pleasant inside. But those, those ones are fine. I thought it was actually those ones that were, well, not so nice. Now that we are on the train tracks, which is always the safe place, place to, wow, I just lost it. Safest place to play, and the joke has now just disappeared. We can find Neurostims over there. I don't think there is anything this way. There is not. Unfortunately, this is a dead end, even though they had the ominous stairs leading down. So let's head back up the ominous stairs and back to the save point. I think there was actually a treasure that I missed up there as well. Something that I was supposed to blow up. But I didn't see the option for it. Let's head over here. It, I think it's back around here. But I have to go to the left here. There we go. Blow that up and we can get two more biospheres, which is very nice. And now we can blow this up so we could actually see what was going on when we were in the secret passage. Which would have been nice. But I failed at that. So we're going to go back to the save point, And that's actually going to do it for these parts of 
Let's play Xenosaga episode one. I've been Miller Scoop. I've been joined as always by our Milshin fighting squad of Ziggy, Momo, and Junior. Chaos and Xion were with us as well. Alan had a cameo appearance. But really, who cares? That's going to do it for these parts. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.